Hey, how are you going? Before I jump into today's topic, I just want to do an announcement. So tomorrow, Chris and I are doing a lunch and learn for Karen Powell's Your Time Matters. So she's invited us to do a, a webinar on hustle mode. <laughs> so being the end of 2023, um, she's invited us to talk to her business owners around listening to your body and knowing when you need to rest. Um, so this webinar is specifically for business owners and high achievers stuck in stuck stuck in hustle mode and their body is feeling it. So the three things that we're going to cover during the webinar is one, learning how to listen to your pain and the messages your body is sending to you. Second is understanding the three key body systems that can burn out, which can then lead to symptoms like energy, mood, and gut issues. And the top three things you can do in 2023 to overcome and prevent body burnout and increase your energy, productivity, and um, your connection within your business and your personal life without hustling and grinding harder. So make sure that you grab your tickets. I'll pop the link underneath this video for that lunch and learn. That's tomorrow. Um, oh, and in case you want to find out a bit more about uh, Karen and Your Time Matters, I actually did a podcast interview with her earlier this year all about how or when working too much can make you sick. So I'll pop the link there as well if you wanted to check out that old podcast. Okay, so today I wanted to really dig into one of the things we will talk um, more in the webinar about, um, but the three key body systems that can get a hit when you are stuck in hustle mode. So I'd love to know, have a little quick check in with your body. How are you feeling? How's your body feeling at the tail end of 2022? Because we are almost at the end of the year. I don't think I'm the only one who, who would say that the last few years have been a big challenge. It's crazy actually how many people's health issues have flared up since 2020. So when COVID first hit, um, in thinking about it though, it's actually not that crazy considering the amount of stress the world has been under with all the uncertainties that COVID first presented with jobs and businesses and families and mandates, um, as well as people having uh, developing long haul COVID and or vaccination injuries. Um, and then all the other stuff going on in the world, war outbreaks, economic inflation, recessions, interest prices, uh, fees rising, all the things. So we have seen a huge influx during this last few years in both new and old clients coming back into our clinic with stress-related body burnout symptoms, things like fatigue and brain fog, anxiety, depression, hormonal imbalances, gut issues, immune system issues, plus more. These are all signs that your body is burnt out. And at some point, stress is going to get the better of you. If you're not feeling those things yet, but you're still like in the hustle mode and fearful mode and like overdoing mode, at some point, stress will get the better of you and it's going to show up in your body. Sometimes it will literally scream at you with body pain. Things like food sensitivities to the point where you might only be eating five foods now or achy body. No matter how many massages you get, you still have an achy body ulcers is a big one or you might even be developing full-blown autoimmune conditions or really nasty diseases like heart disease diabetes or cancer so while many high achieving professionals suppress these messages from the body and push on to build and grow their business and career i've seen it in myself i've definitely seen it seen it increase it's kind of like when i can do more and when i've got more and when i've made more money and when i've got all the things in place then i can rest then i can look after my body but that really happens and your body will literally start screaming at you um, because you will never have enough in order to feel enough. <laughs> at some point, you will probably find that your body will literally scream at you to stop and it will give you some pretty nasty signals and symptoms that will make you really check in with yourself. So right now, like have a, again, have a little check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Like really, if you sat down with yourself and just gave yourself some space and listen to your body... How are you feeling within yourself? Are you, how, are you feeling any effects of stress and of overdoing? 
you might actually find that you're functioning okay. Like maybe you're able to get up and work and build your business and and do the things and parent and look after the home. But, you know, so you might be functioning okay. And if that's the case, you might actually be someone who would who is suppressing the messages that your body is sending you. However, if you continue doing that, if you continue suppressing and pushing on, at some point, you will wake up one day with literally no energy, no energy left to run your business, to build your business, or to show up as a present parent. And so we want to stop that now, like listen into your body right now. Even if you're functioning okay and getting through the day, now is the time to reassess and actually change the course before you get to the point where you can't work anymore or you can't mother or father very good anymore or it's affecting like relationships. Okay, so I want to go over the three key body systems that get a hit when you are under a lot of stress. So if you've been in hustle mode for a long time, if you've been trying to do, do, do and make, make, make and achieve, achieve, achieve and please, please, please without sufficient rest and balance, at some point your body systems will burn out. So the three key body systems that we test for and that we treat that get a major hit with chronic stress are your neuroendocrine system, your gastrointestinal system and your detox system. So I want to go over these three body systems because they're so important. They, They don't cover all the organs in the body, but basically they're the most important body systems that when they start burning out, breaking down or becoming imbalanced, it can have a negative domino effect on other systems like your thyroid, your heart, your your bladder, your lungs, all the things. All right, so let's go over these body systems and how they're affected when you're addictively doing. (laughs) So the neuroendocrine system comprises of your adrenals, your brain, your mitochondria, and your sex hormones. I kind of like tuck in your thyroid in there too. That's really important. Essentially, this system influences how you think and how you feel and how you act. And it's controlled by your, both your conscious mind, but mostly your unconscious mind and how you filter everything from your environment into your brain. It's also really important for regulating the major functions and processes of the body, like energy production and reproduction or reproductive health. So if you're a busy person, um, yeah, with a never ending to do list, your neuroendocrine system is likely getting a thrashing. You've probably heard people say, or you might have said it before, I'm living on adrenaline, or I feel like my adrenals are fried. These terms are often thrown about by high achievers juggling all the things. And the terms are right. You are likely burning through your adrenaline, which is a brain chemical, and you are likely frying your adrenals, which is really meaning you're depleting your stress hormones. When you experience stress, your body produces adrenaline and cortisol, which acts to put your body into a state of of alert so you can respond to stresses. So this is natural and normal, but things can go really haywire when you're experiencing chronic stress daily, like potentially what you've been feeling the last three years since the pandemic and probably even before that. Burnout was happening way before the pandemic. At some point, you produce too many stress hormones and too many alert brain chemicals to the point where they start to deplete, which leaves you in a chronic state of fight or flight, unable to respond to stress appropriately. Okay, so the second body system that can get a hit when you're under a lot of stress is the gastrointestinal system. This is probably not something that people think about with burnout, but oh my goodness, your gut will not be happy when there is a lot of stress. So the gut makes up your, uh, when we're testing the gut, we're looking at pathogens in the gut. We're looking at digestive organs, microbiome, SIBO, and also the food that you're eating. The GI system is thought of as the second brain. And in fact, it has a strong link with the neuroendocrine system. So that's like your brain and your hormones. So the gut is constantly sending signals through the nervous system up to the brain and vice versa. So you might have felt like if you felt like nervous or stressed or anxious, you might have actually felt like your gut is squirming. Maybe you've even got the squirts like diarrhea. Maybe you've it's like flared up heartburn. That, my friend, is the gut-brain connection. (laughs) So imagine if you're running around with your never-ending to-do list, managing your staff, 
rushing around trying to meet deadlines, screaming at the kids, feeling super overwhelmed and stressed. What exactly is happening down there in the gut? It's likely breaking down. So the more burnt out your neuroendocrine system becomes due to stress, the more likely it is that your gut will start to break down. Stress puts you into a state of fight or flight, as I mentioned before, and that means that your digestive organs literally stop producing digestive juices effectively um, because you can't digest food when you're in a state of fight or flight. Your immune system also gets suppressed and your gut lining um, can literally start being eaten away at cortisol, which is very catabolic. So it can lead to things like leaky gut, pathogens to overgrow, um digestive organs aren't working very well so you're not breaking down foods properly so the gi system is the central place where you break down and absorb foods and if anything goes wrong in the gut you will struggle to absorb nutrients and send them over to other body systems that need those nutrients and this of course will lead to further body system burnout and yep more symptoms exhaustion mood imbalances and inflammatory symptoms Okay, so the last body system is the detox system. The detox system looks at your detox pathways, methylation, oxidation, inflammation, and nutrient replacement. And I know a lot of big words. I won't go into like the itty bitty details of those. But basically, these um, or the organs in your detox system makes up your liver, your kidneys, and your elimination pathway. So how you're pooing out toxins, how you're sweating out toxins, and how you're peeing out toxins. Now, most um, health gurus, you know, like if you Google, you've probably been on health forums or Facebook posts, everyone goes on about, oh, gut is where it is all at. Gut is the most important thing in our health. But the detox system, I would argue, is just as important. And actually, some experts even think that it's more important. I think everything's important. (laughs) So why is it so important? Because it's the major it's, well, one of the major roles of the detox system is that it breaks down nasty toxins and clears them from the body. Um, so when the detox system stops working properly, toxins get, can get built up into your system and basically poison you from the inside out. That's kind of yuck if you think about it. The detox system also helps to convert nutrients into a usable form and metabolizes hormones and it also is the last place that fat burning takes place. So it's incredibly important for so many things. And you guessed it, stress can absolutely put a huge pressure on your detox system. So when you're stressed, you burn up important antioxidant nutrients really fast as your body tries to repair from the effects of chronic stress. Now, these antioxidant nutrients are so important for detox health. And if these nutritional deficiencies arise, you're going to have issues showing up in your liver and your kidneys. They're both going to struggle to operate. And over time, that's going to lead to toxins building up in your system and putting more stress onto your body. Okay, so if you were kind of like, oh, this sounds interesting. I haven't really thought about stress and how these body systems can break down and how maybe my health issues might be related to the gut or the detox pathways or the brain or the hormones, then why not join us for our webinar tomorrow? Um, So stuck in hustle mode, that is with Your Time Matters. I'll put the link down there again that you can press on if you want to buy tickets for that. We'll dive deeper, much, much deeper into that and more. Um, Also, if you've been listening and you're like, oh, is burnout something that's part of my presentation? What's going on here? Um, I'll also put a link underneath the video to do our ending body burnout assessment. Um, This looks at where your burnout lies, at what level, and also the contributors, the root causes that might have led to your burnout in the first place. And if you're really, if you're really finally ready to stop guessing where your health issues are coming from and you actually want to test these body systems to get the bottom of things, to get some answers, I'd love to invite you to book in for a Connect the Dots initial consult with me. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I will answer them.